Starfleet Academy. Whoa, what the hell is that? Something new? I never heard of that. 1997? I don't know what, what VG means either. Anyway, this shows the films he's been in from the current day going backwards. Here's all his Tech War films from the uh, mid-90s. Star Trek 3. Star Trek The Motion Picture. We're back in 80 now. And yes, every one of these is in blue. Meaning you can click on it, or double click on it, I should say, and go to that movie. This is incredible, isn't it? These are things he directed as actor, director, or writer. Writer filmography. Here's the thing I like. Notable TV guest appearances. Kind of like the book I showed you earlier in this video letter. This was in all the things, this shows all the things he's been in. He was in Kung Fu, and it tells you the year <clears throat> and the character he played and the title of the episode and the year broadcast. That's a lot of info. Now, just, now let's see how these links work. Let's go to Mission Impossible right here. Let's click on Mission Impossible 1966 and see where this takes us. There it is. See how fast that came up? Nice, huh? Okay. Now it tells you all about Mission Impossible. Here are all the directors. That's a lot of them. Here's the cast. What year the cast was here. This is, of course, alphabetized, it looks like. Peter Graves, Stephen Hill. By the way, if you have a one or a two here, that means there's two actors with the same name, I found out. There's two Peter Graves. This is Peter Graves number one. All right. And for some reason, I can't get any farther on this. Bob Johnson, voice on tape. Isn't that something? Guess the parents says, I can't scroll any farther down here. I don't know why. It's very interesting. Hmm. Let's click on Leonard Nimoy. Wow. Guess what? I'm frozen. Wow, I'm frozen, Carrie. This has never happened before. Ha! Huh. Let's see if I can hit the stop button up here. Nope, I am frozen. Isn't that something? Wow, you saw history in the making. I can't get anywhere else on here. I can't get a hand here or anything. Oh, there we go. It just, it just came back. <laughs> it just came back. Wow. That must be where I clicked. Let's go a page back and see where, where we, we wind up. Let's see what's going on here. That's never happened before. Mission Impossible. Hmm. That's really something. That is very, very, very strange. And nothing's happening. Very strange. Anyway, that is how... Yeah, I'm locked out again. Freaky. Very, very, very freaky. Alright, here we go. Somewhere I got to something here. Let me stop this. And get off of here. Because now you see how the webs how my uh, websites usually work when they're not frozen. This is strange. There we go. Let's exit this. Alright, now I have to manually disconnect from here. So I have to maximize this. And hit disconnect. Tells me how long I've been on. 25 minutes of this stuff. And it should go away. Now let me show you. Let me. This is my web builder. Let me show you my web page. Automatic web page creation and site management. Nice, huh? Let me show you what I've done here. And again, I may not even go with this. 
Okay, let's see. Where is this damn thing? Hit Betamax. Double click it. Betamax 2 DBL. This is what I renamed the site. Okay, here's what the first page is going to look like. This is my opening page. And what i got to do is, I have to save it. And I've got to go up here, this little icon, which will show you what it looks like. Here it comes. It's Reloading Navigator again. <clears throat> now, you've seen that before. Okay. All right, let's close that. In fact, let's just sh shrink that down. Let's just minimize that. Now, let's go to my first page, which I have to save it. I guess I guess I, guess I got to save it. And let me go to this icon here and show you what it looks like. There we go. Ultimate Betamax Info Guide. And this actually is as far as I've gotten. And that's as far as I've gotten. So that's the Revo website for what it's worth. <laughs> That's it. That's it. And right there's the address right now. Of course, it's in my file. It hasn't uh, gone anywhere. I have not uploaded this yet. And that is it, kiddo. I'm getting tired. It's getting late. I've got to go to work tomorrow. And I don't even think I'll dub this off right now. Let's exit. And that's it. So that's the old computer. Like I said, uh, just in case you can't or don't access this. By the way, I now have Navigator Gold. I downloaded this since the last bit part of the video letter, so that's already out of date. Anyway, in case I, for some reason, can't get this thing up and running, um, at least you can see it before anybody else. You are the first to see this, my friend. This I, I stole from someone else's webpage right here. This is uh, a neat graphic of blinking lights, obviously. And, um, like I said, I found out that you can, uh, you can download someone else's webpage and, uh, take anything you want from them. You can take their graphics, anything. So, I learned how to put all this stuff in right here. The welcome page, which is the next page. Here's a listing. This is basically a list of all the Betamaxes that were ever out. And the Ray Glasser personal page. And then I got this icon from, uh, Delta, I think it's called Delta Point, which is uh, Earthlink or Netscape's own web builder. But this is a cute little uh, icon, which I like. And once you uh, click on it, you can see it says mail to videoholic at juno.com, which is me. And this is, I just, I mean, it tells you everything. It tells you how to name your pages. It tells you uh, how to link them. I mean, I have learned so much. And this is all I've worked at since Friday night. So, like, the last four days and nights, this is all I've done. I've watched no TV, no movies, nothing. <laughs> nothing at all. Let's go down and see what this thing is about. Let's go to the welcome page. And here's one of the coolest things. Here's Rainbow Line. I actually got that from my brother. He found it somewhere, too. And it is sharp. It keeps changing color like that. I actually made it thicker than what he had. It was a real, real thin line. This is the welcome page. You can read that there, pretty much. Like these bullets over here, they change color. I got that from someone else's page. I learned how to use the cut and copy and paste. I'd never used that before until I started doing this. So I, I taught myself so much about this computer in the last four or five days. It's absolutely incredible. I've learned all this stuff, and it's all been recent, too. There's the email thing again. I like that thing. All right. Uh, this, of course, goes back to the home page. Now we've got to move the cursor again. This color viewfinder is really nice.